Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Water Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have a problem, problem where guys, a headlight does not work in this video today, we'll explain the most common things that we see here at the garage that can cause a headlight not to work. Could be simple fix without even spending any money. We will talk about that. Or you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why guys, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free. For your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channel that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. So guys, now if a headlight does not work, what you need to check, we will demonstrate on that generation Dodge Ram. The first thing to do is check your headlight bulb. Most of the times you have the same headlight bulb for low and high beams. The only thing is you have a motor that will make it go up and down. So here is what we need to do. Come under the hood and here on the driver's side you have your car battery. In front of it is the main fuse box. Open this cover by pressing these two tabs and underneath you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So guys, here if headlight does not work, now you check the bulb, everything's good. Now what do you need to do guys? Here we need to check one fuse for headlights, okay? And uh, where that fuse is located, guys, please make sure to stay until the end. We want to give you one quick advice that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. But here guys, okay, what you will need to do, you need to guys check uh, fuse number 10 right here. That fuse will need to be checked here guys. Other things that can cause a headlight not to easily work, you got the wrong size of headlight bulbs. Sometimes they look very close or almost identical, but they could be different part numbers. Make sure you got the, the right one. Make sure you plugged it all the way in. Check the connector behind, behind the headlight. It may have moisture building, build up, uh, dust, things like that. It's supposed to have one big seal on the inside. So uh, sometimes it's hard to push it all the way in. Make sure it clicks and you cannot unplug it. Another thing guys, if you replace the bed bulb, sometimes it can trigger a message in the body control module that you need to reset a code. If you don't reset, clear the code, the headlight may not be working. We see that happen as well on Dodge vehicles. Those will be the first things that we're going to check on Dodge Ram. 
So guys, you have all kinds of different fuses and relays. Some of those are very specific, they're hard to find, especially if you're in a small town or in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't find one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere for a few days until we got a shipment on the internet, guys. So keep some spares in your glove box for peace of mind. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.